Welcome, we are here at Crow Racing with Ryan and Callum Crow. The boys have had the bike out already this week, so we're gonna check in with them and see how they've been getting on. Ryan, how's it been getting out there on Max Roads? Oh, it's been good, yeah. It's been a, it's been a bit of a wake-up call when you go back down Bray Hill, I suppose, but we had a bit of a fueling problem on uh, Sunday night. Obviously, Monday night got uh, postponed or cancelled because of an, an incident, but I feel very confident in what we're doing. Um, obviously, we're testing a new bike. It's brand new. We, we only just picked it up from Ben and Tom Birchall about four weeks ago. Um, we did a couple of short circuits on it. Just testing, it's all been good, but it's only here where you'll find your faults, really, I suppose. But no, it's been good. Um, enjoying the bike, I like the way it rides, it's fast, it's, it's mm -hmm. good. Callum's good, so no, it's all we're all we're all good to go, I think. Callum, how has it been preparing for this uh, race this year? You guys have the fastest newcomers in 2019, so you made quite an impression on the race. So you've got a lot to um, deliver to, mm. but hey, you you've you've got the setup, you've got the team, you've got the skills. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, I feel a bit more nervous in 2019 because I know the speed we did in 2019. I know he's going to go even faster, <laughs> and and yeah, that comes along with the racing. But I definitely feel like it's more bumpier than 2019. That's maybe because <laughs> everyone of, saying that is. I think that's maybe because we've been away from it for so long. Um, but yeah, poor Richard from Maxton's got his work cut out here, so <laughs> we're trying to work alongside him now to get comfy in the bike. And uh, hopefully we get out tonight in tonight's session, weather depending, mm. I think. And Ryan, what are your expectations and do you have any expectations for the TT? Is it? Um, expectations, I, I, I just want to finish the race to be honest with you. I want to see, I want to beat my personal best from last time. Um, Remind us of the, the time. Yeah, we did a 113.5 or 7, I can't quite remember what the point was, but mm -hmm. I think it was 113 average sort of like lap time. Just under just under twenty minutes a lap, so no, it was good. I, I remember back in the day, I remember watching my old man, and I remember one of our teammates come running screaming, "Oh my God, they've just done under under sub twenty lap." Well, we did that on our second lap. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I think we could. I think we've got a lot to go. Stretch your legs a bit tonight, and hopefully just pick the pace up gradually. You know, I did. I went out there on Sunday just to have a shakedown. I wasn't. Anywhere near flat out, like I said, we had a few problems. We broke down in Kurt Michael, but like I say, it was steady away to Kurt Michael, and it was still averaging 110. So it was a good, good pace for a good for a first night of lap on a brand new bike. But mm -hmm. no, we're happy with that. Wicked. And Callum, you obviously you guys have got the advantage of living here, so you can be driving around the track as much as possible. But it's nothing like getting out there on closed roads, is there? In, the, in this in this outfit? No, it's a bit different to driving a Ford Transit around the road, but. Um, <laughs> And like Ryan driving an 18 ton wagon round all the time but uh, yeah there is a slight advantage I'd say but if, if everyone that comes to the TT knows where they're going and you didn't know where you were going then you shouldn't be here so mm. uh, plenty of laptops been opened and laps <laughs> followed so in the, every vehicle we drive all year has suspension because yeah. we don't really have it with these it's, we have the tyres, sidewalls, we have about two inches of suspe suspension travel, so everything else we drive has about, I don't know, 70. Mm. It's a different, different job. It's hard to learn anything other than when you do one lap on these, you'll learn more than watching 100 on boards. It's, mm -hmm. it's just you, you really wake up to realise what you're doing is how bumpy it is and how fast you're going. Mm -hmm. and, and Nick Crow, your dad, does he pass in any of his juicy bits of knowledge? Yeah, he's always been there for us. He's 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 always there and in in ready to help you and give mm -hmm. you advice and you know he's everybody else is very uh, like you know they good luck this and the other and he won't say that he'll just be right make sure you're flat out here you you back a gear here but keep it flat out and you know he's just he just wants to watch you go faster and faster and faster <laughs> yeah of course he does you no know, he, he is good to have behind you and keep you pushing along well boys best of luck enjoy being back on Max Rose and racing and look forward to seeing what you deliver on this great outfit it looks good doesn't mm -hmm. it <laughs> it looks yeah, so it looks good nice. at the minute it's shiny <laughs> how many flies on it yet yeah <laughs> nice one boys ride safe thanks Hayley cheers lots of content coming up guys so keep an eye online I'll be uploading throughout the fortnight